check the lens is all clean. Yep, yeah, right, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> that was an epic, awkward silent moment. We're at um, Camp Off Grid and uh, everyone's gone home now, apart from a couple just left here. And uh, Camp Van Tails are still here, just making sure everyone's got, got off all right. Including you. Yeah, including me, I'm stuck again, <laughs> part two of that. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to do is just uh, have a quick look around their, their van and let them show you around and tell you what it's all about. So uh, let's go. Let's go. So yeah, this is our um, ambulance. Uh, well, camper van now. It's uh, an ex ambulance, passenger transport ambulance. Um, we bought it about 18 months ago um, off a guy who was going to convert it, but then he, he hurt his back and decided he couldn't. So we've done it from scratch. Basically, it's um, a 2.5 engine, and all that technical stuff that I don't understand. <laughs> Nor <but> do I. <laughs> we, um, what are two things? We had an old. Land Rover, 52 years old, that we had converted. It was an old military ambulance. We had that converted into a camper van. And we went away for a week to the Lake District and it was very, very wet. We had two very wet dogs. And we had to pull everything out to make the bed up. And we just said, it's not working this, but we enjoyed going away. So we had two stipulations. We were looking for another vehicle. We wanted something that we could stand up in yep. because we're getting old and kneeling down to cook. Yeah, you know, <laughs> no fun. I didn't want to stand, stand and, and crouch. We'd, we'd had an old Talbot before the ambulance, and we got nearly swore, nearly really fed up of uh, yeah. making a bed up. So we said, what? So this isn't bed. your first? No, this is our third van now. Third, we had third a, um, that you've made? No, no, the second we've made. Second you've second made? Second we made. The Talbot was an old Talbot camper van. Yeah, um, okay. Really old, no power steer or anything. Okay, really old. And it just started to rot. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. Um, it was left to, well, had some money left to me and we bought that. My dad said, you've always wanted a camper van. When I die, yeah. the money I leave you won't be a lot, but buy a camper van with it, which is what we did. That's brilliant. But anyway, so we had that and it rotted, so we got the Van Rover. And then, as I say, we wanted headroom, we wanted a fixed bed, because yeah. there's nothing worse than making a bed up at no, the end of the day. No, I fully agree with that. So what we did, we built the bed frame, built the bed, and then just went away. We decided not we weren't going to build anything else because we didn't know what layout we wanted we thought we'd go away for a few weekends yep. and play with layouts and we took cardboard boxes with us yeah this, this is this is a good tip he's told me so this is this is a great tip what he's about to say because i didn't know this and i haven't built my own but this is if you're about to build your own this is a killer tip so yeah listen up <laughs> yeah so basically we've got a load of big cardboard boxes we virtually unit sized and we played with different layouts and we thought this works, this width works, this height works, and whatever. Played all different ways. It still had a bulkhead in, so we put cardboard boxes here and thought, shall we have the kitchen here? And then we decided against that. That was gonna be the original plan. And then yeah. we decided we wanted a walkthrough, so we took the bulkhead out. We knew we wanted a sofa that we could sit on and have the door open, so we could, if we were anywhere with a nice view, we could sit out and look, yeah. so, which is what we've got this weekend. We went from there, the sofa was here, we wanted a hob, but we weren't over keen on having a, an oven because no matter what size, it's still a small space and, and yeah. the amount of time we'd use an oven. An oven's no. a big box, yeah, it's exactly. not used for anything yeah, apart so, from once or twice. I mean, we did buy a microwave and brought that home and then two days later decided to take it back. We decided, again, we want to be off grid as much as possible and yeah. where you can use them with inverse and whatever. It was a there, more yeah. hassle. Uh, uh, people, a lot of people ask me about my, uh, getting a microwave, yeah. and although they're great for instant food, yeah. instant heat, that they're, they're yeah. such a power suck. Exactly. And there's such a huge box. Yeah, and we like creating food and, and yeah. seeing what we can actually do. So, because yeah. um, we do a few cooking videos as well, so yeah. we decided to just go for the hob and put a little sink in. It's not a major big sink for washing up, but what is something? I love all this wood. Bit quirky so yeah. we put a copper sink in we decided to go with a copper look we'd seen other youtube channels of the van builds that had got copper in so we've got That's clean great. the sink <laughs> no it's a real van the way it should be yeah used we played we played around with again 
what size unit we wanted. Um, and again, with having the sofa, looking out of the views, we didn't want to block any of the door. So we finished it where the grab rail, grab, grab rail? The grab rail <laughs> is. Um, and we've kept that in for old age so we can get up easier. <laughs> But, so, but these are really fixed. They are, yeah. Because it's built, this is built for it. It, these was, are, it was built for transporting old people, you know, as they say, as an ambulance. And you've got the storage as well. Yeah, we, we kept the lockers as they were. Um, we've seen other ambulance conversions where people have clad them in wood, but we, it's an ambulance and we wanted to keep some of the original features. So, yeah. so we've kept them. And there is a heck of a lot of storage in them as well. But we've got loads of storage anyway. I mean, we've got, originally we had wastewater and um, fresh water in here. But storage wise, we needed more room, so we took that out, and that's now in the back in the garage. Um, so, yeah, cupboard doors are all magnetized and whatever to keep them closed. We've got drawer, got more I cupboards. Love this wood, the, the wood effect looks amazing. The wood costs us £120 in total. Really? Yeah, and a lot of people think it's pallet wood, and it's not, it's, it's proper wood. And where was that from? It's being key, wasn't it? And I don't know. No, it's off the internet. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, we bought the wood off the internet, didn't we? Yeah. Um, the guy that uh, helped us do it, he's got all the tools and knew where to get the source of the wood. Um, he sourced it. We left it for a little while to sort of dry out so it yeah. didn't warp. Although there are there bits are and pieces of warps that we need to yeah, fix. Sort out. Um, but, yeah, but it's um, just uh, rough planed pine. Yeah, it, looks, it looks amazing. It does then, help that then we've stained it. We've got a guy who we know who's got all the tools that really help because yeah. you do have to buy a heck of a lot of tools, don't you, yeah. otherwise to, to do it. And yeah, we don't yeah. do that much DIY, do we? So, but we've got storage again under the uh, under the bed here. We've got a pantry oh, that stores perfect. quite a lot as well. So yeah, we've got the books nice in there. Library down there. Yeah. So that's brilliant. Yeah, and then the fridge. The fridge. It's one of the most expensive items we bought. Yeah, I mean, yeah it's, it's a, a domestic, a domestic, domestic, nice small fridge yeah. there, and it's um, compressor fridge as well. So, right, which okay. means it just runs off the batteries. Um, Twelve volts, isn't it? Yeah. So. Does, that, it does it use a lot? No, no, not at all. No. no. What, um, what batteries and solar have you got in here? We've got two one ten panels, panels on the top, um, and then the batteries are what? Uh, two one ten. Two one tens again. So okay. yeah. we we did have one one ten and one solar panel. And we the fridge kept going down after two or three days. The fridge would go down, right? Um, and we had a few discussions, didn't we, with the people who provide the solars? Yeah. We've got I wouldn't call them state of the art solar panels, but they're, they're some of the newer ones that yeah. they were actually built for going on ship decks on oh, okay. leisure so, boat yeah. decks, so you could actually walk on them and they wouldn't damage. Ah, uh, uh, I know the ones they arrive rolled up, don't they? Whatever. And we kept saying there must be something wrong with the panel because the fridge is going down, it shouldn't be. Um, they kept saying there was nothing wrong, but in the end they agreed to let us have another panel at uh, right. half price and they'd Good. arranged to get it fitted, which they did. And the fitter said, I think, to be honest, it's your control panel yeah. on the uh, So we upgraded the, the solar controller to uh, an MPPTT, -T -T, yeah. whatever. Yeah. MP -T -T. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, then uh, we were talking to, was it Mevy? Yeah. Uh, uh, event. And Mevy mentioned about the way his batteries are wired up, didn't he? Mm. And, and so you wired the batteries up different. Oh, Although got between them. series and parallel? No, I got them in parallel, so I knew that. Yep. But I was taking the lead, the lead, your feeds off one battery. Right. As you would, if you looked at a yep. diagram out of your old physics book, you just take it off yeah. one battery, where maybe you were saying take the positive off, off one. one and the negative off the other. Yeah, because then you draw them they, both. And then they balance better. Yeah, you're taking half out of each. Yeah, so yeah. that was that was the problem, I think, as well. So. Um, yeah, because these fridges are quite smart. They can sense voltage. Yeah, and, yeah. and they cut and out. It was just cutting and, out. And when they sense something, they cut out to save your batteries. Yeah, and then yeah. they, they'd rather spoil the food than spoil the batteries, which makes sense financially. Mm. But when you've got that problem, you want to... And the panels do the same. Yeah. If the batteries have dropped too low, they, they won't keep firing power yeah. into it. Yeah. So. And we've got an app now with yeah. links to the controls so we know what power's going Oh, you've going gone uh, Victron? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah yes. I've gone Victron. Victron are great. Yeah. So yeah, storage wise we've got we've got loads of cupboard space, that and then no, under here we've yeah. also got a lot of storage as well. That's perfect. These were old caravan seats that yeah. we've we bought They're very comfortable. Cheap. And we just had them recovered. So which Easy cost it, that cost a lot of money, didn't it? Right. It cost us a couple of hundred quid, but we thought yeah. it was worth it because it's a long term. That's it, this is a long term purchase. Yeah, this is it? our our van now and it's gonna be it. 
Okay. Is there uh, anything you'd change now you've built built your own? Well, we started off with this this being the worktop work surface, okay. and as you do, you need somewhere cables. to put all the cables. <laughs> yep. So that came. We lost the work surface. Um, we've got obviously the table that we can use. But it's fishing it out, but it's setting it up. So we what we're looking for is we've got a bit of um, work top left. Work top left. We're gonna have it uh, do a, a pop up with a pop yeah, up leg yeah. or something. Just because yeah. I experience space for chopping food up or, yeah, or just yeah. having cups only making a cup of. Uh, yeah. We um, didn't have a cover, did we, for the, this? So apart from a, a little chopping board. But when we we're in Scotland, we went to a, a wood turners and found that. Just a, a slab of tree trunk. Yeah. And we that's perfect chopping wood, isn't it? But like you say, if you've got a nice yeah. Yeah. a nice bit there. Yeah. Yeah, you have And it just folds out so it's yeah. not gonna it's not gonna block yeah. the view long term or anything. So. No, that'd be great. Um, apart from that, there's, there's nothing, nothing in there. We've really. got a couple of hidey holes, haven't we? For if we I mean this more if we do go abroad, which we're not really planning on doing, but we've got yeah. a place we can hide passports and, and yep. stuff like yep. that. Yep. Yep. People wouldn't realise as well, yep. which we're not going to show for obvious reasons. But <laughs> um, the other thing was we wanted a high bed because we wanted the storage. So um, yeah, you're going to show yeah. Darren the garage, the back, aren't got, you? The garage. You've got a garage around the back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. See, this is this is the one downside to my motorhome is I don't have much outside storage. Apart from the back box, but I want to get rid of the back box. But this, yeah. this endless amount of storage, so we've you can fit loads. We've got uh, 40 litres of water in there, which is just a, a roll. I don't know if that helps. Aqua barrel. Aqua barrel. Perfect. Uh, fill up the water. Oh, you fill up straight there, yeah? Straight there. And this. And, and does it auto turn off or? No. <laughs> it's a guess. It's a guess. It, it did. We had, we had a little alarm, alarm on it, didn't yeah. we? And uh, then, for some reason, that system just fried itself, <laughs> right. and we nearly had uh, with smoke coming out the wires. There's no idea why, but yeah, it, it's just a matter of sticking yeah. your finger. I'm afraid. At the uh, moment. Old school, don't worry. Yeah. That's the way we need it. Um, we've got the gas system in this cabinet here, which is gas gasset. The gasset. So we just we can just. Yeah. Fill up from the outside. Normal LPG. Yeah, normal yeah. LPG. Cheap. I mean, expensive to fit, but in the long, long, long well term, worth. Yeah. LPG is yeah. the way yeah. to go if yeah. you're gonna if you're gonna use it a lot. And then just plenty of storage. Yep. Um, obviously, you fill it up. That's we, the problem. <laughs> we toyed with the idea of having a toilet and, and shower unit, here, but for the amount of time it's used, we thought we can lift it out and put it in there and. We can have a shower, right? And we have had showers. Power to the back here, so we've yep. got a, one of those little pumps that puts it through to a shower head. So we just boil a couple of kettles of water, stand in a bowl, and yeah. Yeah. easy enough. Yeah, we've got a curtain that we attach across the back with magnets, so yeah, that's perfect. If we need it, it just works. Mm, that's and great. And we've, otherwise. we've kept the backboard in just a little depth so we can hang wet coats, rucksacks. Yes. And they're not in the cab, steaming up. I mean, again, yeah. we, we we actually wondered whether to put a, a board there, and so we could be in bed and, and look out the windows and have the view. But heat-wise, as well, that retains quite a lot of heat. Whereas yeah. if you've got the glass, yeah, it kind of let the cold in in the wrong weather. That's it. Yeah. And it's just a, left the uh, the ramp in. Oh really? Yeah. Because. A, we, we worry about the weight to start with, and we're thinking yeah. we're going to have to take it out. But when you take it, if you take it out, you've got to fill in a the big gap. big gap there for the uh, the bumper and the, the sill. So we left it in, and when we weighed it, um, she was well underweight. So we, we, we took it to a weigh bridge, and we were well under the three and a half tons. So it's perfect. That's it. Great Connection game. wise, we I mean, what do we run off the solar? We don't run a lot, do we? Um, no, I mean LED lights, LED, and yeah. fridge, fridge, and it, so. charging, yeah, charging your charging phones and cameras. Yeah, yeah. so that's, that's basically it. So yeah. we've got more than enough power. Have, now, haven't we? You've got an inverter in here. We've got no. a very small inverter. Oh yes, for, yeah. um, helps us do the uh, drone batteries much yep. quicker. Yep. Um, but that's it. Nothing we toyed with the use. idea of a, um, yeah. an inverter. Yeah, let me let me uh, get in on this one. Yeah, inverter-wise. 
Oh, you, you were toying yeah. with inverter, yeah? Yeah, we were toying with inverter, but uh, we didn't think it was worth it in the end. Um, there is an electric hookup on the outside, which was in when we got it. Um, but the regulations, if you actually put 240 volts into a van and then sell it on, you've got to have it all certificated, oh, uh, right, okay. passed and everything. So we thought, do away with that. Yep. If we need, if we do have electric hookup, we've got a camping extension. Yep. So we've got an extension into, yep. and it just into the, and then feeds in, into, yeah. like and that's, that's and got so. trips on it. Your campsite will have trips, trips on it. Yeah, so 16 amp trips. Yeah, yeah. Most yeah. of them are 16 amp, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. 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 And with regards to the, when you're saying with the inverter, mm. I bought, I went guns out all blazing with mine, and I bought a 2005 drop pure yeah. sine wave inverter. It can run, I mean, there's bigger inverters out there, but it can run pretty much anything I need. I use, I can count the amount of times on my hands and toes, the amount of times I've used it. I don't use it, because I've literally, I've made it my mission to find everything on 12 volt. Yeah. Mm. Um, but getting that fitted, because it's so big, mm. and getting it all fused, because I, I didn't do it myself. It's an ex and the actual unit itself is very expensive, yeah, and for when I haven't used it. Mm. I mean, it's great, yeah, it's there if I want to use it. But I think the only things I actually use it for is a PlayStation, which again, I haven't pay, played in about six months, eight months. Mm. Um, and I was using it for my laptop, my big gaming laptop, but I found a 12 volt solution to that. Yeah, well, that's what we were thinking. The, the, the only thing we'd need it for was the laptop. So we found yeah. the car charger yeah. for that. There are, there are solutions out there and you can just buy bigger laptop chargers. There are mm. more powerful ones if you've got a gaming rig or something mm. or a big editing rig. But at the end of the day, you, your laptop comes with a two, 240 volt into yeah. a uh, yeah. transformer to step it down. Yeah, that's the thing. Most uh, most appliances, if you see, if they've got a plug and then they've got a brick and then they've got a, the, the the connector, that brick is stepping down, or it's, it's yeah, always step, stepping step down. down. It's always taking that 240 and kicking it down, which is waste, and then it puts it in. So some of them are, are actually running on like 10 volts, 12 volts. So you're going from 240 all the way down. Mm -hmm. So it's so such a waste. That's what we thought, and then, yeah. so, so why bother? So. Yeah, no, that is one of the biggest so, wastes I've done. Uh, so last last question, I suppose, would be any advice to someone that wants to start a van, whether they're going to be full-time or just uh, traveling on the weekends, any advice to someone that's going to create their own? They've got their, yeah. they've got their, they're looking at getting a shell and they're starting scratch. Everybody does, it starts with shell, yeah. and their take on it is so individual, that's why we like looking around them. But what we would say, we started with, the, the the essentials yeah. which is a fixed bed and then we went away for several weekends with cardboard boxes yeah. cardboard boxes like i mentioned laying them yeah. out That's and a, a playing with layouts it's the thing don't don't start building your van and then regret what you've done mm. think about it don't rush into it i've got the van i need to have it done use it beforehand with the bed where you want it and then play around with the rest of the layouts that's what i'd say That's it. then go and enjoy it <laughs> there we go guys <laughs> And that, and then you, your channel and your everything is? Camper Van Tales. Okay. Camper Van Tales. Yeah. Give them a like and a follow and have to see what they're doing. And then, uh, yeah, we'll catch you all again soon, guys. Bye. Bye.